But then we're gonna look more into the world of essential 2019 version here so if you want to know more about it just keep on watching <laughs> You are gone, I just wanna be with you. Hello, welcome back to my channel. Salut les amis, bienvenue et bon retour sur ma chaîne. Hola, bienvenue dans un canal. Konnichiwa, watashi no channel ni yokoso. As you can see here, we're gonna go into the world of essential, specifically for the curlest chic city woman here. I really wanted to kind of point it out that way because in 2019, we have the same essentials, have a couple of updates. Living in a big city, having a small space, having to work on her pieces, multiple type of ways. All about making magic out of your current closet or adding anything else. 11 pieces, your items that for me deserve a little bit more love than just being trendy. The first piece I would say deserves a bit of love is a blazer. Always be a Nintendo brawl for me. You've seen me and in my lookbooks so many times already. One of my favorite blazers here would be this amazing amazing blazer i got it from zara a couple of years ago and i can tell you i can tell you that i use it literally all the time whenever i can because even to go to work even to go after work even for a really casual event if you add up a couple of accessories and the thing with blazer as well is that not only they can make you look being a little bit more in the androgynous side here depending how you're gonna style it but at the same time you can break down a feminine look by adding it kai being the limit nothing else and nothing more i'm gonna have a couple of options for you i think i have a lot of type of blazers i have a velvet blazer for a winter or for the fall i have a lot of types of blazers other colors other shades other fabrics because they deserve to be seen more a second piece to think about is a button up a white button up is hasn't changed so much but I'm gonna show you my favorite it's gonna be this white button up that I got from Zara back having this detail amazing it was just great for my style and you can have something a little bit more in the subtle a little bit more classic if you have that type of style I'm all about details see the little buckle here all of that made this piece being something that I was just drawn to telling you the truth I'm not big on having a lot of white button ups because I don't wear them as much that was probably one of the only that I would get and that I was sure I would be able to wear for a lot of things of my own age style here I'm about keeping it your style again a lot of options when it comes to white button ups you can have the longer version or you can make a dress out of it tie it with some high-waisted pants or high-waisted jeans or just skirt and you're gonna have a lot of options where you can buy yours white is really really classic but it can be really chic as well having long necklaces having gold necklaces having silver necklaces you're not limited literally for me it's like a blank canva having a white button up because you can draw more and you can actually inject more things to it because it's so bland but at the same time it's a good way to being bland to kind of inject your own personality and your own salt papers and you know any type of spices you really want actually so you know yeah the third piece for me that i would definitely recommend having in your essentials is jewelries accessories it's your day-to-day -day embellishments your day-to-day -day jewelries probably always always or most likely i would have my rings in my videos That's probably what i wear the most much more subtle and you can add up anything else i have a couple of things that i could show you here you have this pair of uh, earrings from h and m you have this little little necklace that you can layer it up because it's so thin and it's really dainty the little coins obviously i've been obsessed with it ever since they came out to me is to add up something interesting and the best way to really play around with your jewelry is to keep them really thinner really dentier and wear them up more if you have a bigger necklace you're more limited you need to add up anything else and you don't want to look like a christmas tree I don't like to have to be overwhelmed with showers in general. I so many things, like I love to play with prints, I love to play with the cut, I love to play with colors. So when it comes to showers, I do my best to always keep it cute, to really keep it interesting, yet a little bit more thinner. Doesn't mean that you don't have to wear bigger necklaces. If that's your thing, girl, please do you. Same style and same 
embellishments and play around with it. My bigger versions that I would wear for really extra special events and even then when I think about it because I don't even think about it that much but I limited myself to not buy them as much. I would suggest as having it as an essential is a crossbody bag. I'm gonna show you my version of it of course. I got it from Zara last year on sale. It's printed but it has that nice interesting details here as you can see. Well printed. Love the color because it's a nice red. Crossbody bags for me represent that curly chic city woman that I talked about. Having a crossbody bag make it easy for you. If you live in a city where you always have to walk around run around and having a lot of things to do you just keep your essentials for me being a curly chic is being curly it's being chic and effortless can either be a crossbody bag or being a banana bag double function that i love i love when my life is easy yes 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 that's for you definitely recommend definitely the other thing i would recommend for you as being a curly chic city woman that you probably are if you're still watching this video is a pair of dark denim jeans or a pair of denim in general a denim for me is a classic a dark denim jeans it's because depending of your shape depending of your silhouette darker wash tend to be a lot more flattering to most shapes in general it's gonna help you to define your shape better and to flatter your shape better. Always something to recommend, always something that I would say to have. My version of it, of course, is... <laughs> You know this one, you've seen this one way too many times. It's my pair of mom jeans. I got it from Zara. No surprise anymore at this point, but no, I'm not judging myself. Definitely don't judge me. Don't. The kind of cat that would be really flattering for a lot of people out there, a lot of women out there. Having something too loose, if you're really skinny, you're just gonna disappear in it. And if you have something too skinny and you have tighter legs, that's gonna be something that's just not gonna flatter your shape at all. Well, mom jeans or boyfriend jeans in general, they're loose enough but still a little bit more skinnier. Having it too loose on me could be a problem because I love my loose style sometimes. Represent a casual and an effortless look. If you wear it with a blouse for example that brings you something a little bit more feminine without having it to be too feminine depending where you are in the spectrum here. If you want it a little bit less feminine sneakers, t-shirt are the key to and having with a blazer of course best combination ever for me. The other thing to have here is a silky dress. When I say silky, let me be clear here. For me, a silky dress is almost like a black dress, but the modern version part of it. <laughs> Some people might disagree with me, it's okay. It's been really trendy, we've seen a lot of that, and we're still saying that, and it deserves to be a part of the show when it comes to the wardrobe. Silk dress, you can achieve to be really effortless if you have sneakers, or really much more chic if you have anything you're gonna add up to it. I have this one from Zara you can layer them up. Having a sweater with it, having something underneath it is all possible, both are possible to give you a little bit more options based on just one piece. My philosophy here is to be able to have a lot more options than just one option with one thing only. So we're just gonna make it as easy as possible. The dress still has that kind of staple each side to it. It's really up to you. You can go with a pair of black dress and it's gonna be totally okay. But if you're more the fashion but not being obsessed by it, using it and just making it your own, you can take what trends gives you and keep it as being a staple because you know how you're gonna make it your own. Now we're gonna get to a couple of shoes that I would definitely that we recommend to have when it comes to being effortless, chic, and live in the city when you need to run for your life. That kind of life, let's just get to it. It's a pair of sneakers. People well, are still gonna disagree with me. I have my own friends that still have a problem with sneakers besides using them for workout. Became my reference, a lot of things you can do and you still look chic while having a sneaker. They're not necessarily my favorites, but they're probably the most classic version that I have. That sneakers, the chunky sneakers, and I would put chunky sneakers as being a staple. It's not for everybody cup of thing. You're gonna find much more subtle than that, but I love the little details. I love the little graphic, and I just love the design of it. And they can be really nice with a lot of things. The jeans, you can have them with a silk dress. When it comes to them, sneakers for me represent a really modern way of just saying style 
now doesn't mean that you need to dig deep into the trends sneakers have become my best friends the other thing i would recommend having is a pair of kitten heels a pair of kitten heels not only is not that high comfortable with you and to walk around actually is so cute it depends on the brand it depends on the style it depends on the color and these are the pairs of kitten heels that i definitely adore adore and adore i'm done walking around pretending that my feet don't hurt when they actually do hurt i'm not about this life anymore and it's been probably three to four years that i've slowly stopped wearing them as much if you see me somewhere you're probably gonna see me with sneakers or this pair of heels i'm not even lying the pop color is a vibrant color it can go with green can go with yellow can go with blue can go with off-white queen of combinations when it comes to colors and prints i love it so much another thing that i would recommend having as an essential is a pair of cowboy boots and i hear people here say what i'm not about the cowboy life here listen to me I replace it with an ankle boots you don't have to go that far and it doesn't have to be cowboy classic shape We've seen a lot of pair of cowboy boots that are in the modern version, slightly cowboy cut, but it's not as big. Because they bring that edgy and don't have to be high. And that's what I love about cowboy boots, obviously. The ones that I choose, not always. Now with the upcoming fall, western side is here to stay. The western vibe is here to stay. It's pretty. As a pair of ankle boots, you can go with white. You've seen it a lot more time already. Very really comfortable. They're not that high. Simple in my wardrobe because I wear them a lot. During winter, it's a little bit more difficult because I live in Canada. So, yeah, yeah, we're not that lucky. Cashmere knits. I don't have my warm things here. Not only a good quality, but it's warm enough. And have it with a dress, have it with cowboy boots. You done. That's it. Worth the investment. You're gonna be able to keep them for years and years for the long term. Signature piece. The sample because it represents you, your soul, it represents your identity, it represents your style in your lifestyle. You're the one choosing. <laughs> Some people love bald necklaces. The way to represent the style more, they feel like themselves when they have it on them. To me, during winter, during summer, when it comes to beret for winter, that's for summer. I showed you on my last haul from um, Trunk Shop. I hate sun, I hate summer, I hate being hot. My face and helped me a lot and saved my life for a lot of time. The other hat is this one. It's made out of raffia natural for brain have something similar it's going to be down below based off all the things that i showed you here i have a checklist down below for you to be able to download what you need what you don't need and what is your signature piece my checklist being pretty helpful for the time being i have my personal services open for full update when it comes to your wardrobe i do everything online or interested just click down below i have a free 30 minutes call let me know if you have more questions for the next video we're gonna say one piece be about shorts because it's still summer i'm gonna share with you five looks subscribe to my channel turn on the notification button and if you can wait i have everything on instagram where i share my daily outfits my handle is gonna be down below and for the time being i have my two videos here that's gonna be able to help you for other inspiring styling tips and anything like that until then i'm gonna send you a lot of kisses plein bisous je vous embrasse have yourself a beautiful week Smile because it's free. <laughs> Jenny, bye.